Welcome everybody to the Marquette Sports Media Podcast here. MUTV talking to you about the Marquette season that ended so sourly in, in, uh, in Boise, Idaho there, guys. A tough day. I'm Brad Galley. I'm going to be leading the discussion today. I'm joined alongside Joe Skowski, Todd Warner, and Chris Galkey. Fellas, yeah. nice to have you here. Nice Thanks for having us, Brad. Great. Appreciate it. All right, well, as the team drops for the second year in a row in the second round of the NCAA tournament, we lose for the last time the ability to watch Jarrell McNeil, Dwight Burke, Wes Matthews, and Dominique James on a big screen TV in that Marquette Golden Blue. Fellas, what's the lasting memories, Chris, we'll start with you, of the senior class? Lasting legacy for me, Brad, is four straight NCAA tournament appearances. Hasn't, been, hasn't happened to Marquette in a very long time, and these guys did it every year. Granted, they had some trouble getting it past the early round stages, but just to get to that stage every year is what you shoot for, it's what you pray. I mean, NIT, is, it's a nice tournament, but you want to be in the big dance. You're playing in March, and they were all for four straight years. So that was, for me, that was the last You know, those question. seniors came to play every game. That's what you knew. They were going to come to play and bring it, give it their all. And I got two things, you know, off the court and on the court. On the court, they did not make it to a sweet 16, so that kind of dwindles their legacy. They, you know, they got big wins in the regular season, but, you know, um, legends are made in March, and they didn't, they, that, that did not happen. But when it, what it really is about is about buzz and, you know, what he teaches these players and how they're, you know, on pace to graduate and, you know, what good men they are and really how they, kept the Marquette tradition going and especially in recruiting that'll help it uh, in the years to come. And I also think how you have to look at Jerome McNeil breaking the all-time Marquette scoring record. It shows his perseverance, his commitment to his team, but it also shows his commitment to his two play his two best players in Dominique James and Wes Matthews. Like I was saying before, these three men have come together in a tremendous way. They've showed their commitment to each other, they showed their commitment to their team, they showed their commitment to their school. It's unbelievable how they bonded together over these past four years. It's gonna be sad to see him go. All right, looking at the WNIT championship, we'll just get some quick, brief predictions from you guys here. The women are in it for the third time in four years. They, of course, won the championship last year against Michigan State in a great finale. Fellas, they beat, uh, they go beat Butler the other night in the MUTV broadcast that was, that was streaming live on the internet. We did a great job there. Yes, we did. Big hand to the production team and everyone that was a part of MUTV Sports and making a great game the other night. But cutting that out of the broadcast here, let's talk. They got Illinois State coming up. Guys, do you think they can get it done and move on to the next round? Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not. You don't think so? I have no hope whatsoever. I don't know how they beat Butler. Todd, can you shine I mean, me? It was, it was a slob. I'm going to give a little, I'm going to be a little optimist here. You know, I think Jessica Pacheco. You're always optimistic. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. You know, she's put up 10 points and 9 boards the other night. I think she's really improved her game. And I think, you know, they, uh, they won the WNIT last year. They tried to get the NCAA, but, you know, they, if you have pride, you're going to come out and play to win the game. That's what you do. I think these, women, these girls are going to have some pride, go out and really play pretty tough. And if they are going to win, Erin Monfrey has to knock down more three. She can't go over two and only play 12 minutes against Butler. No way, right. no how. Chris, a big thing for you here, just to end up the discussion on this, it's the bench play that's big for you. It's the different players you yes. like on this team, yeah. right? In the, in the game against Butler, you had four players scoring over in double figures. One of them was Lawrence Thomas Johnson, who hadn't started a game. She came in with 11 points. That's what they need. They need someone other than their big players to have a big game. All right, well, this has been the MUTV Sports Media Podcast here. For Chris Galke, Todd Warner, Joe Sikowski, I am Brad Galley. Be sure to check out our site at mutvsports.com for streaming videos of all of our shows here at MUTV Sports and constant journalistic updates of what we're thinking about Marquette Sports. Thanks so much for tuning in, and have a great one, Marquette.